We're not fucked. We are totally fucked. And not just fucked. Like elephant dick, pound in the ass, no reach around, jungle. Now's not the time to panic, green beans. <laughs> Hey guys, Lunar Spawn 27 here, bringing you Naruto chapter 663, no matter the cost. So the chapter begins with Sakura trying to resuscitate Naruto while Sasuke is dying on the ground alone. However, the Kyuubi Chakra has finally disappeared, which probably confirmed why everybody else still had it, since Naruto was slowly dying and as long as he was still alive, the Chakra would still remain, even if Kurama was extracted from him. But now that Naruto has officially no pulse, no heartbeat, all of Kurama's Chakra is gone, meaning that Naruto is dead. Since Sakura wasn't aware of what happened to Naruto, Gaara tells her that Kurama was extracted from Naruto. We get a flashback of what Kurama told to Gaara, and it has been confirmed that in order to save Naruto, they have to get the other half of Kurama's chakra from Minato and seal it back into Naruto. It's not really a surprise because 99% of the Naruto fanbase has called it. I called it, everybody else called it, so no surprise there. Gara asks Kurama if there was a way to transport themselves over to Minato instantly. However, it's impossible because now that Kurama has been removed from the seal, the Shinshin Ujutsu ability is also gone. In the present, Gara tells Sakura what Kurama told him, and Sakura asked how much longer will it take to get there. Gara says that it's still kilometers away, so Sakura is doing everything she can to keep Naruto's heart pumping. So what she does is she cuts Naruto's side to create a slit big enough for her hand to go inside Naruto's body so she can pump his heart. And we get a panel of Sakura's hand pumping Naruto's heart in. That is freaky. But then again, how did she get under the rib cage? Since I know the heart is under the rib cage, so I'm wondering about that, but hey. Sakura is doing everything she can as a medical ninja to save Naruto's life. At least trying to manually pump Naruto's heart just to keep him alive long enough to get to Minato. Now we cut back to Sasuke and Tobirama who's pretty far away from Sasuke. Tobirama has a forbidden jutsu where he can move his soul. So he knows Dan's ghost transformation jutsu? So did Tobirama invented that jutsu too? Or could have been another forbidden jutsu? I don't know. But because of those chakra rods that he got stabbed by Madara, he couldn't move his arms or legs, he's completely immobilized, and he also says that he can't send Sasuke's chakra, so Sasuke might be dead or dying. We cut back to the Shinobi Alliance, still dealing with Swirly Zetsu and the giant Buddha statue. We see Karin jumping right in front of it, summoning chakra chains to slice off the arms. What? Apparently, she can summon chakra chains just like Kushina. Hell, according to Rochimaru, this was the same power as Kushina's. He also said that it finally came out. So you mean to tell me that Kain had this ability similar to Kushina's this whole freaking time, and only up till now has she decided to use that technique? If she used it sooner, I think a lot of us would think that Kain wasn't as useless as we all thought she'd be. But considering that Orochimaru said that her power finally came out, it's all because she's motivated by her so-called love for Sasuke. So yeah, Karin uses the chakra chains to slice off the Buddha statue's arms, but Swirly Zetsu has this stick thing which manages to hit Karin and stab her with multiple roots. Unfortunately, this doesn't really kill her because she bites herself, healing herself. So Suikatsu comes up from Swirly Zetsu's left and shoots him with a double barrel water jutsu thing. I don't know, it's the same thing that the previous Mizukage did when he shot that Tsuchikage clone. Jugo grabs onto Karin and we see parts of Swirly Zetsu's face broken from the side. Unfortunately, it doesn't really reveal enough to know who Swirly Zetsu possessed. So Orochimaru stretches out his neck and bites Swirly Zetsu, attaching a curse seal on him to immobilize him. So with Swirly Zetsu now unable to move, Orochimaru and the others are heading towards Sasuke, while the Ninja Alliance just watch on and do absolutely nothing. 
However, in two panels, we see the curse mark on Swirly Zetsu disappearing. So maybe this thing was either temporary. I'm not sure. It's not really confirmed. But if it is temporary, that means that Swirly Zetsu can still resume his attack on the allied shinobi forces. With Jigo and Karin, it seems that she's alright. Boo. But according to her, she also can't sense Sasuke, meaning she can't sense his chakra. We got back to Madara, who I don't know how long it's been. It could have been half an hour in the Naruto world. I'm not sure, but he summons the Jubi again. And... Fuck me sideways. Yes, people, Madara Uchiha has officially became the Jubi Jinchiriki. From what I can describe from his outfit, arms and legs completely black. He has the white robe, the same Tomoe symbols from the back and the front, also the same black spheres hovering over his body. His staff is different from Obito's because now it's just a nearly completed circle. His head is completely white, as well as his hair, and it looks like that he has some sort of headband thing on his head with the horns sticking out from each side. I mean, I, I kind of knew that his appearance would be different if he did seal the Jubi into him, considering that only Obito had only portions of Kurama's chakra and Gyuki's chakra. Madara, on the other hand, finally has Gyuki and half of Kurama. So it would probably make sense that Madara's transformation of the Jubi Jinchuriki being more of a complete form. And you know the funny thing is? It took multiple chapters for the Ghetto Mazu statue to turn into the Jubi. Obito to seal it inside of him, become the Jubi Jinchiriki while struggling, of course, to control it. That only happened in multiple chapters. Here, Madara is not only able to seal all of the nine bijus in the Ghetto Mazo statue within three chapters, but two chapters later, two chapters, Madara summoned the Jubi again, now in its full complete form, no transformation for multiple chapters. He seals it inside of himself, becoming the Jubi Jinchiriki in a matter of like one freaking page. He doesn't have like struggle to obtain control of the Jubi, no, he just instantly gained control and he now is the Jubi Jinchiriki. Holy Shit. So yeah, with Madara's new form, and now him being the Jubi Jinchuriki, and I guess you could say kind of sort of the new Sprikido Seni, not sure. Uh, he disappears, and I think he's going to get his left eye. Wait, so if Madara is going to where Obito is, and Kara, Sakura, and Naruto are going where Madara is, then they'll probably have a hard time getting the other half of Kurama's chakra sealed in Minato to Naruto if Madara is going to be there. I don't know why, but I am looking forward to next week's chapter. So, in the next page, we get to see... Ah, oh, crap. Okay. I really didn't want to talk about this, but I might as well just say this. Ever since this chapter, the forums, the fan art, even on YouTube, all the Narasaka fans, all the Narahina fans are going crazy over this. Now, I've got one thing to say to all you guys. Calm the fuck down. Sakura is performing CPR, and in CPR, you have to use mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, and she's doing that while she's pumping Naruto's heart with her hand manually inside Naruto's body. She's doing everything she can to keep him alive. She's not kissing him out of, like, love or anything. This is just CPR. For all the Narasaka fans who are, like, celebrating over this, calm the fuck down because the series is not over and Kishimoto has the power to decide who Naruto ends up with, okay? Okay, anyway, while Sakura was uh, performing CPR, she gets flashbacks of Naruto back in part one, him declaring that he's going to become Hokage. She vows that she's not going to let Naruto die no matter what, because that dream of his is right in front of his eyes. And we see Sasuke still lying on the ground dying, alone, or so we think, because we see a white foot heading towards Sasuke. And that is where the chapter ends. So yeah, that is Naruto chapter 663. What did I think? I thought this was a really good chapter. And definitely worth it after the one week hiatus. But we all know why Kishimoto did it. And he has my sympathies for that. I did like seeing Sakura doing everything she can to save Naruto's life. Even if he's kind of dead now. Sort of. Because his heart stopped pumping. He has no pulse. Which would mean that he's dead. And he's gonna die no matter what. 
but unless they get to Minato on time. Now, with Minato having the other half of Kurama's chakra, and they're going to use that to seal it back into Naruto to save his life, everybody called it, so it's not a surprise there. But the thing is, with Madara, he's also heading there, I'm assuming, because he wants to get his other eye back, and we've seen what he can do with only one eye. Hell, we've seen what he can do with no eyes. Imagine what he's going to do with both eyes. And now that he is the Juvie Jinchiriki, Shinobi Alliance, they're freaking screwed! And I will admit, as much as I hate Karin, she did come in handy with those chakra chains. But the thing is, according to Rochimaru, she never awakened it until now, at that moment. If she had woken it earlier, maybe she would have been a lot more useful. And you know what the thing is? Since this is the same ability that Kishina had, which is pretty obvious because Karin's an Uzumaki and Kishina's an Uzumaki, so how come Naruto can't use that ability? I mean, does he have to learn it? Because apparently Uzumakis can create chakra chains out of their backs. The only time we ever seen Naruto use that was when he fought against Kurama to obtain control over him. But that was because Kushina helped. So, I'm a bit disappointed that Naruto doesn't have that ability, since Uzumakis have that apparently. Confirmed by Karin. Orochimaru and others dealing with Sroli Zetsu, I thought that was pretty cool, even though I think that only temporarily immobilized him. Now, there have been rumors of who Sroli Zetsu is possessed. It's most likely Yamato at this point. I mean, it would explain like why he was gone this entire time for over, well, how long has it been? 100? 200 chapters? But then again, if it is Yamato, I'm gonna freaking laugh. Orochimaru and the others, they kind of like put the Ally Shinobi forces to shame because they're able to deal with Sroli Zetsu, even if it was temporarily, because they have to get to Sasuke. And now that the Ally Shinobi forces don't have Kron chakra they're pretty much unless our toby will be the one to defeat him which will be pretty cool but it's kind of a shame that once again the rookies or what's left of the konoha 12 don't get to do anything again they only had like cameos in like the previous chapter and they didn't get to do anything i hope they get to do something here now that story is that to like popped out of nowhere with the buddha statue but th that's just what i'm hoping for and that's what honestly one of the problems i had with this war was because it had so much potential but it's ruined because it was completely wasted for these characters perfect opportunity to give these characters character development some of them do but some of them don't and that's a downright shame for me and especially for all the naruto fans because i know some some of you guys really want to see what more of the Rookie 9 or what's left of the Konoha 12, what they can do. Now the cliffhanger at the ending. Who is it that approached Sasuke? I'm assuming it's Kabuto. Now I know Kabuto is sealed inside the Izanami. So maybe he finally realized the error of his ways and is finally there to either heal him or kill him. Granted, it hasn't really been confirmed if Kabuto has turned good again or if he's back to his evil self. It's not confirmed. I mean, but it's the only logical explanation of who the person is at the final panel it could be Kabuto. Then again, if Kabuto finally like appeared, I mean, how long has that been? Has it been a hundred chapters? Has it been like 60 chapters? I don't know. Just no, not 60. It's been, yeah, it's probably been over 60 chapters. I don't know. Well, overall, I still thought the chapter was good. Action was brief, but still pretty good. I like seeing Orochimaru, so you get to Jigo and Karin actually working together as a team. I think next week's chapter, maybe they'll get to Minato on time. But I swear to fucking god, if Obito is still trying to, like, deal with the Black Zetsu and you see Kakashi and Minato, you know, not doing anything, I'll be freaking pissed. On the caption, next chapter, it says Madara is finally going to arrive before Kakashi's party. Question is, where is Madara going? Maybe it's a translation error for Orochimaru, but I don't know. But I'm assuming that Madara is going to get to where Minato is. I don't know what's going to happen next week's chapter, but I'm re really looking forward to it. So overall, pretty good chapter. So yeah, that is Naruto chapter 663. Tell me guys, what do you think of this week's chapter? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Who do you think was the person approaching Sasuke on the final panel? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe for more videos. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook fan page and Google+. Plus. So yeah, that is Naruto chapter 663. I'm Lewis Brown 27, and I will see you guys later. Bye.